got to melt that snow off. This is Steve's idea of heating up the shop. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? It's Dave. And there's South and Steve. He's shutting off the uh, blower motor so we can hear. After he torched this whole garage, like just heating it up. Holy mackerel, it's like the tropics in here. Anyway, we're cleaning up these things right here. They're, uh, what are we, really? 95. 95 Mustang spindles. Now, we're going to throw them through the sandblaster and clean them up so we can use them again. As Steve throws out garbage. So we can use them again. And like I say, it's keeping this on a low budget sort of thing. And that's the name of the game. Right, Steve? That's right. He's done. He's not even listening to me. All right. See? Anyway, uh, so we're gonna dismantle them. I'll show you what's going on. Uh, clean them up in the sandblaster, and I'll show you what we're gonna do from there, and get them ready for uh, when we put the front end in the Mustang. Anyway. I think we were uh, heating those to get them out. Well, it doesn't want to come out? No, it Just doesn't. Well, well, think how long those have been sitting. More favorable? You're gonna blow a gasket. Oh! oh, oh, oh. He got her. Now, be honest with you, we could buy new spindles or better brakes. Like, let's be honest, there is some braking systems out there we've been looking at, and they're just amazing. But, well, you got her good. But the problem is, they're a lot of coin, and when you ship things up from the States, you got import fees, taxes, shipping costs, and everything else, and you basically double the price of stuff. It's gonna miss its home. There we go. <laughs> well, son of a gun. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's beautiful. Think we can reuse that? <laughs> You're gonna feel the power of the uh, impact. Uh, yeah, probably. No. Oh, I thought you meant the 18s would be the strut, won't it? There we go. All right, let's try to power the beast. Okay, rigid. Oh, gotta take off the impact thing. Okay, here we go. Not bad, eh? Do we need to keep these? We might have to. I guess we could let it sit. I want to get no. You know what? We're not going to keep those We're because not. I'm going to get the I'm going to get the um, calipers with that. Great. All right. Let's get. Uh, let's move on to the big one. Which big one? All oh, the here. They'll come off. <laughs> Not bad. All right. That rigid, I'm sorry, is that rigid impact gun is a powerhouse. Yep, it is. All right, we're going to try my... You're going to try the air just to compare? My Intersol Ram Titanium... Yeah, but let's Whatever admit, it people, it's it's been used. It's been used. Used and abused. All right, we're going to have to build some air here first. Uh. <laughs> How's the weight difference though? They're about the same. Comparable? Yeah. The, the, the clue with this is the battery. battery. Yeah. You try to shove something in a tight spot. Try to get that battery in. But the good thing about this is you can take it anywhere where you gotta have an air supply. Yes. Alright, here we go. Here we go. What do you think? It that rigid's close to this. Yeah? Yeah. Now, I'm a, I'm an English all running guy. Yeah. But, uh, you know what? I was till I got that thing. I'm telling yeah. you, I was till I got that. Yeah. That's nice because, it, like you say, you're not attached to this hose, so it's quite often you're tripping over. Yeah. Uh, it's got pros and cons. Yeah. You know, yeah. But I, I think I'll get one of those. Are you? Yeah. 
Well, what's what's the big advantage of that? It's the five year or unlimited warranty for the, yeah, the tool and the, the batteries. batteries and you know, I have my, where is it? I have my small one here. I use that for everything. You know, I, intakes. But the know. only thing, the only thing, and we were talking about this not long ago. The only thing that we've been finding is rigid has not as many tools as like Milwaukee. And it's almost tempting to get Milwaukee because, because of the variety of tools they have. Just let's be honest, like they have so many tools. Okay, now we're doing the uh, ball joint. Came out surprisingly well. Alright, let's uh get a bolt out. Try living in Ontario, Canada, anywhere in the east, no problems. Yep. There she goes. One nice used. Can you use that again? We've got safety glasses on, guys. Yeah, safety first. Woohoo! One down. It's abuse. Abuse. Hey, look at that! Look at that, guys. Now, look at how nice and shiny that is yeah. there. Yeah. If you look at the rest of it, it's so nice and shiny in there. Awesome stuff. Yeah. Yep. And I don't see new rotors, so all in goes. All right, let's see what I... Should let's we tape switch. up that spindle part? Just to make sure it doesn't get nailed with... Um... Actually, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to split the rotor from that and put the bearing back on. That'll protect that quite nicely. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's That's a good idea. A little rust in her? Just a little bit. <laughs> so, do you want to take off that shield? We don't need a shield. Need it. It's not in bad shape. I know a lot of people are saying it's terrible. Considering this thing's a what you did you say again? Ninety five and it's been sitting yeah. off. You can see it's a little porous there. I just don't want it to fly off, it's you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's riveted on, so we'll grind those rivets off and get rid of her. Needle scale up to it. Just quickly. Just trying to get the garbage out of it. Yeah. A little less sound at the same time. Mika! Oh, you're such a good girl. There she is, sitting inside. 
And he even, he's even going to clean out the glass so maybe we can see it. So remember what that looks like, guys. Because when it comes out, hopefully it looks a heck of a lot better. Here we go. Noisy time. Work of art. Woo! Go look at it in the light. Well, anything's better than what it was, let's be honest. Yeah, see, that's perfect. We're kind of prepping for paint here, giving it a little cleanup. Yeah, okay, well, here we go. In the middle of the second one, we got the caliper off. Good. Bolts are out. And. Uh -oh. That's not good. Nothing left of that head. Oh, we got the pound something on there. I might have to, uh, now I'm going to have to get a new bolt. Yep. <sighs> yeah, we'll pound on the 14. Let's see where we get it. That should be it. Brute force and ignorance. There we go. Wins yep. every time. Yep. <laughs> There you go, boys and girls. The before and after. Before, after. Nice, eh? And there's more to come. Some Dom 16. Who is this? Dominion Sure Seal. Dominion Sure Seal. And we're gonna paint him up, and uh, we'll be back. I don't think you want to watch us paint. Kind of boring. Like this turned out really good. We're gonna have to wait a while to do a second coat, but like this is the same as what is it called? Poor Poor fifteen. Poor fifteen, yeah. So this is the Canadian version. <laughs> the cheap cheap version. The cheap version. But you know what? That there uh, it looks thinner. And it looks metallic y though. Yeah. Like I don't know if you can get right in there and see, but it looks metallic y. Maybe that'll disappear on the second coat. Yeah. But you know what? There's, how much is a spindle you figure? A few hundred dollars anyway. Yeah. Okay guys, look at this. Huh? Um, what do you think of that? And now we're on to that. We're doing the uh, wheel bearings. These are Timkins. Ooh. We're doing wheel studs. We picked them up from Carbelt Speaking Custom in Oshawa. So they're extended. So we got to drive these out factory ones out factory size out and put those ones in there's the difference right there now this process is it's pretty easy okay uh, highly scientific highly scientific so you just drive them out look at that Yeah, you're not swinging hard, that's for sure. No. All right, they're all out. Not going in. A little bit more care. I guess I should get around the other side of you so we can sort of see.
Look at that. Boom! Two? By the way, this is Steve's homemade contraption. Coin you come press. Whether it likes it or not. You can do it. Three? That's only taken about five times to do that. Goes in nice and smooth. Four. And five. Looky, looky. They're all in and they're looking mighty beautiful. We were noticing they were uh, making horsepower sounds when they were getting put in. Whatever. Anyway, so that's in. These aren't dry yet. We'd like to install them, but we'd have to wait another day or two. Yeah, it'd be nice to get a second coat on that tonight and just let them dry overnight. Yeah. And we can assemble them tomorrow. Yeah, so uh, we'll be back at this tomorrow. Steve's got his spiffy new heat gun out. <laughs> Look at the thing. Okay, guys, it's uh, what? Now nah, it's a couple days later. Uh, <laughs> we uh, kind of got behind, kind of got tied up with other stuff. Anyway, and the weather got kind of crappy too. Plus, Pete didn't want to drive that sealer stuff. Anyway, Steve's cleaning that up, and uh, I'll flip it around and we'll show you putting it together. Okay, so we got these all painted up, and I have to admit, like. That's like brand new. Look at it. That's not spray painted either. This is brushed on. Yeah. And we've got a few runs there. We've got to, we've got to clean that all up. And but seriously, that, that's a, from what they were to what they are. Yeah. But that's incredible. They are nice. Yeah. Getting her nice and clean. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. And that grease is cold, cold, so even then. Now, that's, I love that. Yeah, we'll torque it when it's on the car. Make yeah. Sure it's right. Second one. Yeah. Presto. Second one done. There you go guys and uh steve slapped these together i supervised and stuff very good supervisor top notch <laughs> anyway you know what like we were talking about this we could have spent a lot of money and got spindles and different brake systems and all this sort of stuff but this is a low budget build at first you know as things go faster we'll get better parts but we took these, which were basically rusted old piece of junk. Probably everybody would have thrown them in the garbage. Yep. And the wreckers. Steve uh, slapped them in the sandblaster. We painted them up with some. What was that? That was the Dominion stuff. Or no? Oh. There it is. There. Dom sixteen. Dom sixteen. Yep. And it worked. Yeah, like this stuff is really, really durable. It's like almost like a epoxy. Yeah. The. Uh... The overcoat stuff was actually quite hard to get off. Yeah. So anyway, she's all together. We got rotors. I uh, got to get calipers yet. But uh, we just wanted to show you how we're saving some money. Anyway, guys, that's about it. If you can, give it a like, subscribe. You guys take care. Be safe.